This might be just the coolest thing I've ever made with my own hands. That's what I'm gonna say. My name is Vika. Welcome to my first video. Today I'm going to be hand embroidering on the t-shirt with some glow and a dark thread and I will show you the whole process so keep on watching. All right, let's go through the stuff I'll be using today. First thing I have here is this blank American Apparel tee and this photo of Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. I've simplified it so it's homochromatic and I'm going to be using DMC thread that glows in the dark to stitch it on. Next thing I have is this fabric stabilizer. I really like this sticky one. Also some random needles, a pair of scissors, the biggest hoop I got, and this clover pen. Basically the first thing that I need to do is to transfer the design to the fabric stabilizer. And I'm using this clover pen I mentioned. This one and the fabric stabilizer, actually they're completely water soluble. Self-explanatory really. Once my design is done, I have to just get it onto the shirt and pop it into the hoop. You want to kind of make sure that you stick it there nice and snug so that there's enough tension for you to be working on it. Next thing is to just start stitching. So for the main outline, I'm using this stem stitch. It's a pretty simple one. You just kind of make a, a normal, regular stitch, but don't tighten it just yet. Bring the needle back up right in the middle of that stitch and then tighten it. For the next one, you're gonna go down again about the same length and bring the needle up through the existing hole already. And make sure you pull the string on the same side for every stitch so that it looks neat. I sometimes change the sides when I get to tight curves, which isn't ideal, but it saves me time on intricate details. And to be fair, it doesn't look too bad. This kind of project takes a little while to complete and it almost never goes without a mess up. Well, this one is not an exception. I definitely messed up in this one by using the biggest hoop that I had. There wasn't enough tension for me to, to be comfortable embroidering. Plus the bottom part of the stabilizer was sliding off and I didn't want for that to happen. So midway through, I kind of just needed to change the hoop and I unstuck the bottom part of the stabilizer, put it away until I was done with the first one. And yeah, that definitely helped a lot. Basically, right before I finished the top half, I restuck the bottom stabilizer part back into the hoop and just made sure that it was connected properly and continued stitching. Stitching, embroidering, whatever you call it. I call it both, so it works. And 
just to give you an idea of how much time this takes, this whole thing took me probably around, I don't know, like 10 hours just for the embroidery part. So if you're thinking to take on a project like this one, make sure you have plenty of time at hand because you're going to need it. And honestly, don't even ask me how long it took me to film all of this or prepare to film all of this. A long time. little bits were kind of fun to do because I knew I was getting so close to the end and I was about to see the full picture of how it turned out. Now it's time to get it out of the hoop and take a closer look. Honestly I'm pretty stoked on the way it looks. But I'm not done yet, actually. While I was embroidering the rabbit, I kind of got inspired to get something else embroidered on the shirt as well. Speaking of inspiration, I've always liked this one quote, which I thought was from the Alice in Wonderland book, but unfortunately it turns out that it isn't. I mean, I don't really care. I do like the quote a lot, so I think I'm gonna put it on my t-shirt anyway. Kind of fits the theme. I just learned something pretty much life-changing. I can actually print on this thing. If only I'd known that three days ago when I started this project. Anyway, to embroider the letters, I'm gonna be using a split back stitch. This one is pretty simple too. You make a first stitch, then come up a bit further down the line and bring the needle down through the middle of the previous stitch and keep going. Okay, this is me done embroidering for today. Now it's time to get rid of the stabilizer. And when it's completely dry, I just want to add a little personal touch. I've made this little patchy type thing that I'm going to iron on to replace the American Apparel tag. So I'll make it on my own, you know? You know, this might be just the coolest thing I've ever made with my own hands. Ever. That's what I'm gonna say. Just kidding, I definitely have more to say. But seriously though, it, it really feels good to make something almost from scratch. And before I show you what it looks like, here's a quick list of tips for this kind of project. The first one is you should make sure that you pre-wash your t-shirt or whatever you're embroidering before you do anything to it because 
If it's new, it's definitely gonna shrink after the first wash and you don't really wanna go down that road. The second one is you should definitely think about investing into fabric stabilizer. The one that I like, the one that I showed you at the beginning of the video is this sticky one. So that one works best for me. The third one and fourth one is kind of one and it's don't stress about it. You're definitely not gonna complete it all in one go unless you have like 10 hours at hand. So yeah, like this one has taken me forever to complete. The fifth one would be is to subscribe to this channel. Um, I definitely have a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of different projects. I'm really excited. So yeah, watch out for that.